Welcome to the HP Online Teaching Assistant, an initiative of HP Education. Today we'll explain how to do storytelling with Sway. Today we will use the Sway tool to create storytelling about a popular story in a few minutes. This is an example. You can then define the content that you would like to work with your students. The objectives of today's session are to learn about the Sway interface and its features, to incorporate multimedia elements, and to develop our folktale using storytelling technique with the Sway tool. Let's get started. What is Sway? Sway is a digital tool from Microsoft with which we'll be able to create, edit, and share multimedia content using a very intuitive, easy-to-use interface where we'll be able to create presentations, a website, storytelling, among others. Now, what is storytelling? It is the act of using words and images to share and interpret experiences while encouraging the listener or reader's imagination. These stories connect and motivate students to learn what we are teaching. So storytelling will allow us to explain a content in a different, more appealing way and develop active listening in the student. Before we start, we recommend our video tutorial about presentations with Microsoft Sway. We leave you the link here. In that video, we explain in more detail each of the components of Sway. Now, let's move on to the practice. I already have the Office website open in my browser. And from here, we can look for the Sway icon and enter. You could also search in the browser for www.sway.office.com. Once we're in, this would be the interface. We click New Blank Sway. We'll be discovering more or less what this tool can offer, and then we'll do the storytelling. So the Storyline tab is where we'll develop all of the storytelling. We'll be able to add cards with headers, text, images, among others. In a while, we'll look at some of these options. In the Design tab, you can change the styles of the Sway. As you can see here, we have several options, and if we do not like any of the options proposed by Sway, we can also customize the Sway. The thing is that Sway facilitates design work and you don't need to have a lot of knowledge about web design or presentations design. So let's start. As I said, we're going to create storytelling from a folktale for younger children. In this case, because they are little kids, the teacher can create the Sway. But in the case of older children, they can create the Sway themselves. For example, from a literary piece they are working on in class. So I'll teach you more or less how it's done, and then I'll show you one I've done before. The first thing we have to do is give it a title. In this case, we will create the popular story, The Ugly Duckling. I click on Background to add an image and see that here I get suggestions. I click and look for the image that I like and paste it in my header. The good thing is that these images are Creative Commons, and you'll not have any problems when using them in your creations. Now, let's see how it looks. Click on Design, and here we can view it. As you can see, it's simply about adding the content, and Sway takes charge of working out the design. But remember that you can change the style if you don't like Sway's suggestions. Let's add an image, and as the story is about the ugly duckling, let's say that it was born from an egg. and then we choose an image. Remember that you can select the image and click Add or drag it. Now I'm going to write here, Ugly Duckling Broke the Shell One Summer Day. So to see how it looks, we go to Design, and here I have created the image and the text. The text hasn't turned out as I would like, but has remained as a footnote of image. So what I would do is add a text card, cut the text from the image, paste it on my new card, and increase the emphasis of this card. What it does is increase the size and select the text and click on Emphasize, puts it in bold type. Now to continue, we can create a comparison group of images to see how was the ugly duckling before and how it is now. I have two options, look for the images in the browser as we did with the previous ones or upload them from my computer. I'm going to search for it so I type in Ugly Duckling. I like this one. Let's look for another. Could be this one. 
I now select this image, and in Focus Points, I can select this option, and Sway will know the entire image is important. I do the same with the other one, and that's it. Let's see how my students would see it. I click Play. Here we see the comparison we just created. By simply dragging from one side or the other, we can see the images, when it was born and rejected, and then when it grew up and became a beautiful swan. We click Edit to return. What else can we add? How about a headline where the ugly duckling siblings appear? I type in the search browser, ducklings, and I want to use this one. I write here, the ugly ducklings siblings. To be consistent with the chronology, I'm going to move my comparison group down. First, I talk about his birth, then his siblings, and let's say I want the comparison at the end. I just have to drag it. You see the comparison group becomes part of this section. Every time I insert a heading, it's like a section. Let's see how it is looking. I now want to change the design style. So I'm going into Design, then Styles, and choose the option I like best. Then let's say I want it horizontal, and with this style here, but the font doesn't convince me, so I'm going to customize it. And select another font. Well, I think I'll leave it like that for now. And then I could go back and continue entering the cards needed to complete my story. As you can see, Sway has no mystery about it and is fairly intuitive. When it's finished, I can share it with my students. To do so, I go to Share and define who I want to share it with. For example, if my students don't have an institutional email, that is to say they are not under the same domain, so I would have to mark this option. But if they all have an institutional email, I can select those in my organization and then define if I want them to only view it or if they can also edit it. Then I copy this link and share by email. So now I'm going to show you a storytelling that I've created previously. This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. The first thing I did was to insert a title with a background image, then add an image and a text card, and I have begun to narrate the story. I've added a group stack. Now I'll show you how it looks, and I've continued to add to the story with various images and text cards. I also added a comparison group between the wolf and the grandmother. So if I click on play, you can see the name of the story in an image of Little Red Riding Hood, which is just like the cover. Then we can see that the story would start here. This is the group stack I mentioned. I've placed an image of the forest, and if I click on it, a text appears. Then I have more images to accompany the narrative of the story. I have placed here a comparison between the wolf and the grandmother and more text and images. That will be all. I hope you liked it and use it in your classes. For example, in history class, you could take a character and recreate their story in a sway and then share it with the students. Or they could be the ones who edit the sway and create a story related to the life of a character. Thank you for watching this video offered by HP Online Teaching Assistant an initiative of HP Education.